Hello there, everybody. Welcome to the next uh, Alexa three game series. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at Moonlighter, which is a action RPG with roguelite elements. Uh, and this is a game by Digital Sun, published by 11-Bit Studios. Uh, I've heard a lot of really positive things about this game. Uh, okay, I guess I'm doing a normal game slot, and I'm going to play on the recommended hard difficulty. Um, I've heard a lot of things about this game. Um, I've heard some positives, where people were like, this game is incredible, and I just wish it was longer. Um, I've also heard people that just don't like it at all. Um, so I figured three episodes to figure it out is, is good enough for me, and, and hopefully that we can uh, figure out what is going on in this game. Uh, one night, Maze is, okay, it's already gone. I, I couldn't read the thing. Uh, okay, there's dungeons. I, I got you. I'll, I'll let this go so we can understand the lore. It's Stardew Valley. <laughs> okay, this is Ry Rhinoka. The village of Rhinoka. Okay, this is me, Ninja. Among the settlers, two groups shine bright as heroes and merchants, glory and riches. Uh, that is kind of what the game revolves around, is, is a hero that goes in the dungeons, but then he also sells uh, everything that he gets. So there's kind of the shop management aspect to the game along with the, you know, fighting regular roguelite style gameplay, which is interesting. Uh, the, opening the mysterious fifth floor of the, uh, the fifth door of the dungeon. Okay, I understand. Is this where I hop in? It appears that this is where I hop in. I will continue. Let's do this thing, I suppose. Come on, y you can do it. <laughs> okay, this is us. Uh, beautiful art. I already love, uh, I mean, this is also, this is basically like thumbnail ready already for me, which I can always tell a game by whether or not I can get a thumbnail ready in the very first uh, screen. Okay, it looks like uh, I'm playing with a the controller. They recommended using a gamepad, so I'm using a, a PS4 controller for this right now. Uh, it appears that left trigger is a dash of some sort. Every other button is doing jack squat, so I can't do anything. Oh, this is where they, they teach me that I can use left trigger. Uh, I'm assuming I can do that to go over areas as well. Beautiful. He's too good at the game. Uh, can I use it to roll past you? I can use it to roll past you. Okay. Good stuff. I can use it to roll past these as well. Very exciting. Uh, this is combat that I can understand. Okay, what do we have? So X, X is I, I smack things, and then R2 is I pick up things. Okay, so these guys I smack. Okay, there's the combat's here. I see it. I wish I could just roll over those slimes a la Enter the Gungeon, but I don't believe I can. What did I just pick up? I can't access my inventory yet. Fair enough. Okay, so square is another attack. Oh, it's maybe, it's a charge up, okay. And that does probably significantly more damage. So X is just a tap. Uh, square is a nice charge up. These are chests, okay. Uh, and this is our inventory. So foundry rests. Oh, I just picked up everything, okay. Uh, fabric, oh yeah, okay, quick move all. And then R1 is quick move, I got you. So fabric, foundry rests, I have two vines, two roots, and three rich jellies. And there's all kinds of stuff here, okay. So this is my current uh, weapon. You can see the stats there on the far end. Uh, HP potions, rich jelly, essential and brewing, okay. A little, little brewmaster action. There's actually a decent amount of items here. I, I see 110, uh, which means that there's a lot to find, a lot to see. There's various things here as well. It appears that there's actually a lot um, going on here. So I'm down. Uh, we'll, we'll uncover and learn stuff, I suppose, as we play. We get them some more stuff here. This is actually totally new stuff. A water lamp, white stone, and gold runes. I'm just going to collect it all. Oh, this is actual combat now. They put me into the game, dude. I'm scared now. This is a little bit excessive right now. I'm, I'm taking massive hits, man. Okay, hold up. The game got stupid hard all of a sudden. Things just keep on spawning, man. Okay. Do not kill me. I'm dead. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Is this one of those where, oh, you were supposed to die all along. I was supposed to die all along. Okay, fair enough. I see you. Little bit of a shameless promo real quick while uh, Obi-Wan Kenobi comes into the town here. Uh, you can get this game for 
only $12. It's usually on Steam for either $15 or $20, but you can get it for $12 plus like five other games uh, by signing up for this month's Humble Bundle monthly. Uh, Humble Bundle is an awesome service. Please shut up, Gandalf, for like four seconds. Uh, Humble Bundle is an awesome service. I am partnered with them. Uh, they sell a bunch of bundles. It's not just games. Sometimes it's books and uh, video making materials and, and programming related things. There's actually a ton uh, that Humble Bundle is kind of partnered with and can do. But every time one of you signs up for Humble Monthly using my link, which will be in the description, uh, I get money, which is cool. Uh, so if you're interested in this game by the time we're done playing it, uh, I highly recommend going and checking that out for this month. Uh, the deal will probably only be there for a week or two more. So go check it out. Gandalf is my dad, I guess. Maybe. Did our little merchant bite off more than he can manage? Don't talk to Ninja like that. I'm the pro of the Fortnite universe. Listen to me. Hard truth is this. I'm not your father. You are the last of your family. I mean, the exact opposite, honestly. The only one left to run Moonlighter. So is that the name of the shop? I'm guessing you can't keep pushing yourself like this. Risking your life on this fifth door nonsense is foolish. Just leave it. 20 bucks I make it to the fifth door. Find some artifacts. Use your pendant to get out. Oh, so it's I get out whenever I want to, huh? And for creator's sake, stop using that broom. Okay, that's fair. He just called me Daft Boy. It's dangerous to go alone. Take this, LOL. It's mine from back in the day. Use it. I have little need for it now. A shield and a sword. You sweet, sweet, weird old man. Now then, get up. You're a waste in light. Can't have you neglect the shop all day. Let's see if I can get through your hard head some of the tricks that I picked up from your grandfather so many, many years ago. Okay, so is this my dad then? If he's talking about my grandpa, are, are you actually my dad? He might be my dad. Is there anything in here? No, I, I can't do crap in here. I can roll still. Okay, so sell. Successfully selling your merchandise takes knowledge of two things. You must know an item's value as well as its demand. Come now, open the shop up, and allow the customers in. Okay. Oh, I have to open the door. That is a good first step here. Hold to open. We open for business, boys and girls. Oh, dude. Tara from the Undertale is already here. She's happy. She wants it. Okay. This is cool. I'm with it. Did you see that? Best expression you can hope for. The item wasn't too expensive for them and not so cheap for you to lose profit. Be sure to pay attention to your customer's expressions. That's how your grandfather always knew if his prices were fair. This guy's not going to like this for 170 I'll tell you that. He's going to be like, hell nah, dude. Yeah, see? Unhappy camper. I don't think I need to tell you how that item was obviously overpriced. Lesson learned? Damn straight. Finally, be careful of selling a popular item too much. If you flood the market, you will have to offer cheaper prices. Okay. Charge higher when something is in high demand and in low supply. I mean, yeah, that's literally how economics works, believe it or not. You know, this guy doesn't really look like he went to college and is graduating with an economics minor. Take out your merchant notebook. It should hold all the information you have gathered on discovered wares and artifacts. Got you. I'm already here, dude. Too good at the game. It's in here. Crystallize energy. Okay. I am really trying to do stuff in there. Would seem the sun has fallen for the day. I best head off. You will pick up more on your own. Restoring this shop to its full glory. That's responsibility falls on you, not I. It's in your blood, Will. Make us proud. Okay. Well, my name's Will, I guess. Can I be Will I Am? And then bring Fergie in. In the meantime, why don't you try out that new sword? Dungeons are more perilous at night, but one can always find better artifacts. Just don't dive too far and use that pendant. Okay. So what I'm picking up is uh, I am dungeon master by night, shopkeep by day. Um, go on now. These weary bones of mine must rest. You're, you're not going to allow me to go back in, huh? Your weary bones must rest, but you want to continue to stand right there. Can I talk to you? Rinoka, what a town. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? What is this? Dungeons that way. Fair enough. That's all you need to tell me, man. I'm going to go the opposite direction. Just to see if there's anybody else that I can have a, a quick conversation with. Mori! Am I the father? Have you found any new cultural artifacts in the dungeon, Will? I always found it fascinating how all the items we find in the dungeons appear to be from different civilizations and unique cultures. So far, these people are all useless. Renoka might not be as prosperous. Many will still pick up a souvenir from the Gollum dungeon. 
Possibly even one of the closed dungeons if we're lucky. Okay. I'm, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Who are you? Tomo. Will, I saw you in the dungeons earlier, mister. Did you bring me anything mysterious? How about you not steal from a child? Just an idea, though. Okay, so there's a dungeon this way as well. Um, so is there one north, one south? Is that what's going on here? And I kind of have to decide which one I want to go to. This was the first one I saw, so I'm going to this one. But this is cool that there's different ones. Uh, I'm I'm super with this. I do actually really, really like the art. Yo, there's actually a bunch of different ones. So this one is the one that we were originally in. Uh, and it appears that this is a master dungeon. Possibly the fifth door. Is that something, something along the lines of what they were trying to say to us earlier? Is this is the fifth door? I'll break your fifth door. Let's do it. Okay. So, Golem Dungeon. Do I get a map? I do get a map. Okay, it's similar roguelite nature. We have doors going in each direction. Do enemies spawn? Are there secret rooms? There's a lot of questions, man. Okay, so... Shield is square. And then a little smack smack with the old sword is X. I can do that. I'm, I'm not a child. I, I understand basic combat in a video game. Get smacked. These guys, this is pathetic. I'm gonna be honest with you. Uh, cruel sick joke that you even think it's remotely okay to bring these enemies at me and think that I cannot handle it. Get smacked, get parried. Get parried. Okay, I mean, he literally just shot me in half, but um, that that's neither here nor there. What are those? I can't access my... I can't access my inventory during this. Okay, fair enough. Okay, we got a shooty boy. Okay, I understand this guy. He's dead. He dropped a, a ton of crap. Oh. Okay, this guy, I cannot do that. Oh, I'm dead, dude. Fair enough. Fair enough, we learned the hard way. <laughs> I came back to life, apparently. Um... Call me Jesus of Nazareth. Okay. So new stuff. We did lose some stuff. So keep that in mind. So maybe... I don't really quite know how the respawn works. Uh, we also do have healing potions. R R2. Let's keep that in mind. So this was just... Have some free crap, Tyler. I'm with it. I'm good with it. To a person of hopefully far better luck than I. My time is short. I took injury from the strange creature across the room. My pendant... All but shattered from the sc sc scuffle. Check him out, though. I'd say I'm far fared, blah, blah, blah. He caught me spying on him near the Guardian's room. Dropped a couple items when he fled. One of which is this map diagram. Whatever it is, I was right. They called me crazy. Said old crazy Pete done gone lost his marbles. But I was right. Each Guardian of a dungeon must possess a key. All of them linked to the giant locked door outside the dungeon's fifth door of Renoka. Everyone is so obsessed with the door. Just grab a massive hammer and break this thing down. And life is going to be much easier for you. Okay, this guy's worried about the big boss. I understand. I need different keys. Those open the door. I kind of pieced this crap together <laughs> earlier. I'm just going to throw it out there. Yo, he got all kinds of stuff, though. Okay, so what is this? I, I fill up this thing. Then I press O. It fills up this thing. And then I go back to the house to use the pendant. Okay. Big understand. So I... I... Do I want to do... I do want to do this, apparently. So I hold it down. That does a little teleport action. And I get the hell out of the dungeon. Okay. I can, I can do this, dude. I can do this. And then this is where we go back and we sell stuff. Um, I, I have a feeling... Oh, we just teleport right into thin air right here. I have a feeling that this is where I'm going to spend some time setting up shop. Uh, young proprietor of Moonlighter. You'd look intact, except for that death. But I guess we're not going to talk about that. Finally learned to use the pendant. It's about time. What am I holding? Is that a chart of the dungeons? Where did you get this? You found old Pete. Dead. Rest in peace, Pete. This is what happens when you chase what's behind that door. Leave it, Will. Get the artifacts you need from the Golem dungeon and look after Moonlighter. Now, I noticed some posts on the town board that may interest you. Some shops want to move in. Okay. So, it's, it's Capital Markets 101, dude. Be the best. Sell the best make mad cash and then spend that cash in other shops and things of that sort 
So that's the bulletin board. I understand. This is going to tell me what people want, I'm guessing. And then I'm able to set up shop. Investments. Oh, no. I bring people in. Fair enough, dude. Okay. Well, we ain't able to do crap <laughs> quite yet. Um, but that's cool. We're, we're going to be upgrading the town as we go. It's not my own competition. Um, it's, it's actually completely different than that. So what can I place on here? Um... I feel like a lot of this stuff is not valuable at all. Um, I, I can look in here and see. So I, we don't know what the reactions are yet. So I have to do a little testing of the market here and say some vines, 10 of them. And then can I increase the price on this? No, I mean, I want 10 of these. I'm just looking real, okay, so 10 are out there. Let's also test out just some sticks, and then let, let's send some royal jelly out there. And uh, I don't know how I, I, I place a price on stuff. I'm going to open shop, and we're just going to see what happens, dude. Welcome in, my friend. What are you looking for? There's all kinds of people here. I'm going to take a real quick look. At this bad boy. So popularity on this is neutral. A hundred was a great reaction for it. I don't know. Oh, wait. Here we go. Hundred was a great reaction to it. Send her down. This, this is incredibly slow. <laughs> Just very slow. That's okay. Come on. You can do it someday this century. Okay. Uh, let's set a price on this. So I'm going to say for... 10 of these, 100 is probably a lot. Let's go, let's go five for 50. Is that gonna be too much? I guarantee that is gonna be too much, um, but I am willing to test the waters. One of these is going to be equal to 20, okay? And I am going to 100% uh, try to sell all of them, right? I want to grab all of these. Hold to grab a stack. Okay, I understand. And place. So those are five for a hundred. Oh, this is going to get complicated real fast, dude. I'm ready for them to buy, though. Oh, she's looking. She is unhappy. She does not care for the price. 50 for some branches. She's okay with it. 100% she's okay with it. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I, will, I will accept your offer. I will accept your offer. They don't like the royal jelly being this expensive. I will bring it down a notch. I do want all of these to be sitting here, though. I will bring it down. How about we go for uh, 50 for all five? It's 10 apiece. You feeling good about it? Oh, he does. He, he's a little bit unhappy about it, but he's still going to buy it. He's like, yeah. Too low? You want me to sell that for more? This seems like a very strange market where you don't complain about the prices, but absolutely, I'll bump up the price on that. You want me to sell this for uh, more as well? You got my old prices still in there. Branches? What did those sell for? They sold for uh, 50 a piece. That was a great deal. I'm with it. Come back around, my friends. We got freaking Willy Wonka coming in here. Nah, he is unhappy with this price. Uh, I will... I will bump it down some more. I did not know that these were uh, that cheap. Five, I guess, for each of them. Oh, wow. she They hate the price. You want them to go down. Okay, maybe I'm completely overrating pretty much everything here. I'll try it. Yeah, she's amped about the sticks. They, they love the stick price, which is a step in the right direction. Oh, we, we finally got good prices going on here. All righty. I am a little bit confused because they were fine with these prices before, but I'm not going to be the one to say anything. I'm just going to just going to restock because they love my stuff, dude. Oh, I I will you go and come back to me. 7 for one of these is a terrible deal. It's all 10 for 50 or bust. And I will absolutely we're only selling these today, boys. Everybody better be looking for vines because I've got them all for you. They want them for cheaper. The demand is is too something. Okay, you know what? You don't get it now. 
This menu is very clunky. <laughs> that is one thing I'm going to say. Menu, quite clunky. Uh, what are these? Tea stone? I gotta be able to get, like, 70 for tea stone, right? And then this has gotta be, like, 20 just for this thing, right? Two of these. Let's go each one for 15. You know, put them up two for 30. And we'll, we'll at least test the waters on these. We restocked. We restocked, Ice Cube. Come grab something. Mr. T. Meanwhile, everyone's favorite granny is still uh, living life. He's unhappy with everything. He managed to just grab something off of a shelf quite far away, but... So the price was too low on those. Fair enough. Oh, she loves the price of those. See, this is good because we're, we're learning a ton about this stuff. Uh, so if we look... And I believe it's it's just going to be in here somewhere. Right? Somewhere in here. Oh, are they sorted by price? Oh, I can sell my sword? My starting sword? That's very weird. Rich jelly. So 10 was too much. 5 was, uh, they were happy. So somewhere in between 10 and 5 is going to be the, the rich spot on that one. Gold runes. Okay. We don't know what the price was. We don't know what the price was there either. Okay, 20 was, this is the best price on the planet. Oh, I understand. So it was not in between those two. 20 was, this is the best price on the planet. I'll keep that in mind. 100 was, this is okay. So I'll probably need to bring that down a little bit. 15 for glass lenses, best price on the planet. He's a natural, man, is, is what I'm getting at. So these... Did we sell them for seven before? Because that's what I'm selling for now, for sure. Uh, and let's try, let's try ten for those. Restock a little bit. He's unhappy with that price. Um, I suppose that's fine. I think that that's a little bit too expensive for these. He's unhappy with. Th How are you unhappy with that price, dude? We just went through this. She's fine with that price. That's because I made him cheap as hell. You stupid. They were, they were higher a second ago. Granny? Granny does not like the prices of these anymore. There has to be an easier way for me to check what's going on inside of here. But, shop done. Yeah, we're saving. Okay, so my balance, I, I sold a lot today. We actually have 515, uh, which is sick because we can upgrade something in the shop right here. So, let's do a... Let's do a, uh, yeah, let's do this guy, uh, Vulcan's Forge, and we'll bring him in, because then we can upgrade our, our weapon, which I think we're going to badly need to do. So he's going to set up shop. You do you, my dude. Fantastic. Can I go talk to him immediately? Apparently, these people work 24 hours a day. It's, it's a hard-working village. I respect it. You know, I don't sleep, so it, it, it works. A, you must be Will. The one who requested my forge, my name is Andre, the giant. If it's weapons or armor you seek, Vulcan's forge is the place. Okay. So what is this? It's armor. Oh my lord, dude. These are stupid expensive, <laughs> is the first thing that I'm noticing. 4,000 for everything is, is not going to happen at the current moment. So I'm going to go. Oh, it just leads to the exact same dungeon. Okay, fair enough. Uh, I will go into the dungeon. It's nighttime, so... We, we do what we do, man. Um, I will hope to make it out of the first four rooms of this one. We now got crap in all directions. Oh my lord, this is new. Why? Why do our tools keep disappearing? Chambers full of precious stone are left untouched, but rooms and chests holding our most basic tools keep vanishing. I'm assuming this is like a healing spot or something like that. And now we got some combat. He picked up the item? Don't do that, buddy. Okay? Let's just have a good time and, and just bring out and save. Don't do not do that. Can I break the pot? Absolutely, you can break the pot. This is enter the, uh, enter the legend of this game. Artifact must be placed on the left or right of the bag. Oh, you're going to do some loot rascals stuff, huh? Must be placed on the top or bottom. I'm with it, dude. It was one of my favorite mechanics in Loot Rascals. Um, so this is this is cool. 
Those drop? Absolutely. It, it basically just look. Oh my lord, you're huge. It's a golem war. Yeah, okay. Fair enough. You, you hit for a lot. You hit for a lot, but clearly you have not met. Okay. Clearly you have not met the greatest combat warrior ever in me. He's dead. We just got so much crap out of that. You know what? I should not have gone into this room, I'm assuming. I believe I just went... I went to the the gun do, golem dungeon too. Okay, this is one of the strange devices that creature dropped when he fled. This one's rich actually. I am quite rich for every item you place into this device. Gold of some perceived value comes out. It's great if you need, need to use your pendant in a pinch. Device looks like a mirror. I'm just going to call it the mirror. Keeping it simple. I do wonder though where the treasures dropped inside go and am I getting the best deal here? Okay. So... Okay, so I just drop stuff into it. That's weird. It's like, for instance, these sticks. Okay, if I just drop them in here. I got three cents for that. Okay, um, I don't really think I, I want to do that. Uh, I think I want to heal up a little bit. And then I think I want to continue to get this show on the road a little bit. This is a moving boy. And I apparently cannot hit him. For crap, I can now. Nice dodge. Do you just break once... How do I break you, dude? I, I don't know how to... I don't know how to break him. I just fell off the cliff, man. How about, how about a, a well-timed shield? Absolutely. Now smack him. Okay. I completely forgot I had a shield. Because I am me, and I don't use shields in video games. Because I'm stupid. Okay. Continue on. It's weird blobs. We, we have fought these guys before. This should not be difficult. I have fought slimes in every video game in existence. It's not difficult. They drop royal jelly and know what to do with it. Good stuff. Continue. Okay. The room scares me. It doesn't mean we're dead. It just means I'm afraid. There's clearly some goop going on in here. And there's, there's a goop master here as well. I understand. I, kn I know what to do with the goop master. Hit him where it hurts, which is in, in the goop. Good stuff. He's walking around. Hit him in the goop. Exactly. Chest opens. It's the time to be alive. Okay, white stone. Must be placed on the left or right. Let's, uh, let's do some organization here. I don't know what this thing is, but pretty cool. Fabric destroys one artifact curse and the direction shown when placed. Okay, so if I do like this, it's going to destroy that. Kind of okay with it because we don't really care. Um, these sell for 100 a piece, so we'll absolutely be doing that. What's your thing? Hardness steel destroys an artifact in the direction shown. Well, you know what, dude? How do you like them apples, huh? We'll just do that. We, I feel like we should probably leave soon because our thing is filled up, but I don't know if that's the correct play. This sucks. How about you frig off, buddy? I can't collect any more of those. Do I want more of those? They're like, okay. I think they're better than sticks, right? So I can just sell the sticks. I, I don't get much for it, but I feel like I'm going to end up getting more uh, when I snag those. So we continue on. I'm looking at the shop. I, oh, there's a broken sword right there. Didn't even see it. Okay. We know where we have to go. Um, and we know that there's, you know, secret stuff that we unlock along the way. Is this healing? It is healing. Okay, so I was right there. And I definitely should have gone in here first before going down to the next floor before. Feels as if we're fighting an invisible enemy. Every time a room is left empty of people, it seems to vanish. Okay. So basically what you're telling me, uh, the dungeons are all whacked up. There's weird stuff that occurs in them. This is this is not like, you know, not out of the ordinary for a roguelite uh, dungeon crawler. I am getting smacked, though. 
Come on. I don't know how I'm supposed to combat these sons of guns. All I know is I need the lead pipe. I should just leave. Oh, this guy's not going to actually fight me. The door is open. Okay. Peace out, buddy. Oh, it's another big dude. You know what? I'm dead. And that's going to be a problem because I think I just lost everything. No, I lost some things. Okay. Go to town. Or did I lose everything? I probably lost everything, right? Is that how this works? It's going to be massively unfortunate if there's nothing in my bag. I only keep the things on my body. This is this is logical. It does make sense. <laughs> or wait a minute, I have 226 gold. Does it sell all of the stuff that I would have uh, that I would have got wrecked on? Is that what happens? Because that makes actually logical sense. So what is this iron bar, dude? These have to go for a chunk, right? I should be able to sell three for 150, 50 a piece. It's an iron bar, dude. Right? Three for 150 and whetstone. I don't know. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this one at 20. Start the bid at 20. Let's see what happens. We'll see if anybody likes these prices. I'm going to open up. We're not going to be open for long. Gandalf is, is back. He's, he's staring out the window. Hey, dad. And here comes grandma in for her daily shopping. She's going to take one look at those iron bars and go, I need these in my life. Come on, granny. This guy's looking at the whetstone. He's go. oh, the price is great on that bad boy. 10 was just enough. You're welcome, Grandpa. Granny, take a look at the uh, iron bars. Why don't you? 15 for the teeth. She's thrilled. Gandalf is back. Iron bars, iron bars. Show me the money. He is super unhappy with that price. <laughs> I suppose that that is respectable. I will bring down the price. I did not expect it to do that well anyway. Just kidding. I totally did. But, you know, you can't win them all. Three for uh, 90. You can't argue with three for 90, man. You also can't argue with five of these for 50. Ten apiece. You're going to be like, this deal's insane. He's a little unhappy with it, but he paid it. So, you know what? That, that's a step in the right direction. It'll do well for the future. Oh, he loved the price. Five for 50. Good stuff. And nobody else wants to sell. I literally, like, barely have anything left to give you. Uh, one for 10 should should make you happy. And, uh, I mean, 10 of these. I think it's 10 for, like, 10 for 50 does gets the job done? Oh, he does not. He really did not like the price on that. I will bring it down. Fair enough. I didn't. I, I don't know the rarity of certain things. This is my first time uh, selling in the shop, man. You gotta cut me some slack. Five for fifty still gets the job done. Gandalf is literally just keeping the company alive. Oh, she loves the ten. Ten is good stuff. Willy Wonka is back. Oompa Loompa, man. You like ten for that? He loves ten for that. Okay, sorry guys, but we have to wrap up the shop because. Uh, I don't own anything. I, I have nothing to my name but 460, uh, 460 money here. Okay, uh, that was good. That was good. I'm going to take a quick look and see I can read this. So this is literally just, it's this, fair enough. Uh, I can open this. I can just store stuff in here, fair enough. So I suppose if I don't sell everything, uh, I just come in here and, and do that. I can sleep, but I, I like, probably shouldn't because I go into the dungeon at night. That is going to do it for the first episode. This will be a three-episode series, so we'll have two more episodes of us uh, exploring the world of Moonlighter. Uh, there appears to be a lot to see, a lot of dungeoning to do. The combat is pretty fun. The graphics are great. Uh, once again, if you would like to get this game, I'll leave the Steam link down below, but I'm also going to leave the Humble Bundle link. Uh, once again, very great company. Uh, you, pay for, uh, you pay very little for a lot and a good chunk of the money also goes to charity uh, which is why I chose to be a partner with them uh, because I like the company's values and morals and I think that they're uh, a really good company to buy from and I have been buying their humble monthly for at least a year now um, it's just it's super good value and a very good company to support thank you all so much for watching I will catch you guys in the next one you have a good day goodbye <laughs>